Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I've seen this uh, headline a little bit different, but um, the idea is the same in um, many times before. And I have this question, why would these guys have the authority or legitimacy to do it? This is what I'm talking about. Lithuania sends first group of instructors to train Ukrainian soldiers in Germany. Why would the Lithuanian military be in any position to train the Ukrainian military? I've seen many uh, articles stating that, uh, reporting that Canadian instructors are going to train the Ukrainian army. Why? Why would they be better? Why? What wars did Canada, for instance, Lithuania, Germany lately, fought to train the Ukrainians? Like the Ukrainian army is a tard, you know, they need to be trained by these guys. Under what kind of authority? What could they possibly know more than the Ukrainians and why? Why? I mean, this bothers me because the Ukrainians are treated like the poor uh, relative showing up at your doorstep. And they're not. They shouldn't allow themselves to be treated like that. The Lithuanians are going to train the Ukrainians. What? I mean, like I'm a world champion and a guy with, with, I don't know, a regional champion comes and trains me? No. I mean, it doesn't mean I have nothing else or nothing more to learn. But you tell me, what, under what authority or experience Lithuania has to train the Ukrainians? I mean, that's an insult. And I'm not a Ukrainian. <clears throat> okay? So what the hell? I've seen this when I used to live in that country called Romania. The Romanians were receiving any kind of foreigner from the Western countries. Showing up to Romania was seen as a all of a sudden know everything in things like I know history. Why? or chemistry, or other things. Now I understand there are some peaks, you know, some scientists that have, you know, funding and all that, that are at the top. But a medic? A dentist? Why would a dentist in, let's say, Canada be better than a dentist from Romania? The same shit, the same tools they use. I know dentists from Romania, they came to Canada. They had to start over the whole thing in Canada, in Toronto, for instance, and not only. Why? What possibly could those guys know more than a dentist from Romania? Working on the same thing. Well, there might be certain kind of little aspects that I'm pretty sure a doctor, a dentist or a, uh, from Romania could learn in about two hours and a half. But no. You have to go through all the system. Money, money, money. Now here, you tell me why Lithuania could train the Ukrainians. And again, why Canadians? And I'm not picking on, on Canadians, but you tell me. I mean, I have to tell you that this might sound uh, a little bit ugly for my Canadian friends, but I will be honest with you. Before I moved to United States of America, and I started having contact with Canadian citizens of Canadian stock, if you know what I mean. Not immigrants like me and other people that I knew that immigrated to Canada. I started learning that, hey, actually, you know, Canadians really had, uh, you, know, uh, you know, some military in the Second World War. Because you see all the monuments in little towns were sorry, showing some, and I showing uh, their hero heroes. For me, pss, Canada was nowhere. How many, how many people did it, were, uh, fight over there? And I found out, well, there were some. There were some. Compared with others, 
very minuscule. But anyway, there were there were people who died for whomever sent them to Europe. I got that. I learned it. But after that, what does Canada have more than Ukrainians? Ukrainians fought in the Second World War on the Soviet side. And then they fought probably in Afghanistan and in the Soviet army. So I don't understand this kind of thing. And then is another thing. Okay, that's experience. Okay, I put experience aside. But then knowledge. What makes the Ukrainians think that the Canadians have no more military knowledge than they have? Are Ukrainians dumb or something? I mean, don't they go to school? Don't they think? Do they study wars? Uh, and remember, I'm, I'm not on the uh, Ukrainian side or Canadian side or Russian side or I don't get. Just as a matter of fact, imagine that you as a Canadian would receive, I know, some Romanians, trainers, instructors, they will train your army. I don't know, you're in a scuffle with China. How would you look at it? Wouldn't you ask, what the hell do the Romanians have that we don't? What knowledge they have? What experience they have? And it's the same thing with Belgium, with all these trainers that train the poor little Ukrainians who are so... that they don't know how to chichuk and to organize and go. What do you think those guys are going to train the, the... how do you call it? The, the regular soldier. They're not going to train the generals. They're going to train the regular... Yes, sir, move left. Uh, oh, left. <laughs> okay, uh, um, um, down. Uh, down, okay. What the hell? Anyway, it's just a um, just down to me when I looked at this article and I was like, Jesus Christ, what do you mean the Lithuania sends first group of instructors to train Ukrainian soldiers? And then I see that here some fat asses. Where are they? Uh, and it was it used to be a picture, but not in this article. With a uh, with a uh, how do you call them? With a uh, Ukrainian uh, with the uh, how do you call them with the uh, Lithuanian volunteers? No, I don't know where the hell. But this is the article I found right here. I don't see a picture here, but I saw it on my telephone. I mean, really, is that an inferiority complex or what's going on here? I don't know. You figure it out. Um, in case in these kind of situations with war, I'm guessing you get whatever you need to uh, whatever just to get some information, but. <laughs> Really, that doesn't make sense. And I picked on Canada because uh, I can, that's why. I mean, I can pick on Germany as well. I can pick on France as well. I can pick on many other countries. And you tell me, don't give me Indochina, because if you give me Indochina, uh, Indochina, remember, the uh, war in Korea and Vietnam, and I'll say, where's the French? Where are the French over there? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And they say, help, help. Wasn't that the way it was? And then the Americans took over and the French went home with the tail between the legs. So what do you have to learn from France? Besides, what do you have to learn from France from the Second World War? They were <coughs> by Wehrmacht, Blitzkrieg, in three weeks. So again, the French are training the Ukrainians. Excuse me? <laughs> Ukrainians so far, I would say, won something and they, war, they, they fought in the Second World War on the side of being part of Soviet Union. And they were kind of like winning you know what I mean? So it would be probably the other way around. Don't give me Algeria again. Mm -mm -mm, they got it. Africa. They get kicked out. Anyway, I understand they need resources and they need help. But from this standpoint, I don't need anybody to tell me anything. I don't think you know anything more than I do. Not me. These guys. Just as a question. You know, just, just as a matter of fact. So when you hear Belgians are training the Ukrainians, I'm like... Or the I don't know, Dutch are training the Ukrainians. Really, what can they possibly know than the Ukrainian army? And why? They have a secret uh, access to uh, warfare, uh, one of uh, art of war. They read Sun Tzu better than the Ukrainians or something. Just a question, a dumb, dumb, stupid thing here. But anyway, stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.